Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right in today's content. Just a quick disclaimer for you guys that anything on this channel is not financial advice, so please do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies. Looking at the overall crypto market cap, you guys can see we are currently sitting at 884.5 billion, down 1.2% in the last 24 hours as we start off Saturday. BTC dominance is currently sitting at 36.5%. But if we are looking across the board, you guys can see another sea of red across the board, especially over the last 24 hours. Market is continuously going towards the downside. A lot of fear coming in. Obviously, this entire FTX mania, I do believe, is going to set us aside, uh, you know, a little bit of a backwards, to be quite honest, because this really shows a lot of the new money coming in that, you know, cryptocurrencies is still, you know, the wild, wild west. And, um, you know, fair, it's a fair thing to make. And this is how this market has been operating for quite some time. And we do need to have more risk measures and more safety measures uh, in place so this does not happen and my heart goes out to everyone that was involved in this ftx collapse and this is why you never want to be storing your you know hard earned money on these exchanges doesn't matter which exchange you name always take your money off of these exchanges and put it on a cold you know cold wallet there's a link in the description box below for you guys to check out if you want to uh, purchase like a Ledger Nano S really goes a long way and you own your private keys not these exchanges again link in the description box below but today guys I want to look further into one project that we absolutely love on our channel and that's none other than Polygon Matic if we are looking at the price of Polygon Matic it is currently trading at 95 cents down 9.4 percent in the last 24 hours in USD comparative as well as 9.2 in BTC and 8.2 in ETH comparative over the last 24 hours Market cap is currently sitting at 8.4 billion and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 969.8 million. So obviously we have seen about a 9.4% pull down, which is to be expected, especially after BTC is still on, you know, very, very shaky end of the spectrum, very danger zone to be quite frank with you guys. But now uh, before we jump into the charts to see what's going on, I really wanted to share something very interesting with you guys. So Sandeep came out and posted this on Twitter and I really wanted to share this with you guys and he states I am happy to see Polygon ecosystem was lucky to come out safe from all this chows. I can speak for myself and few ecosystem founders I spoke with what saved us all. Core fundamentals of self custody, trustlessness and not being greedy of yields market opportunities. Oh my god this makes me extremely bullish man. So he also goes on and says, but many other ecosystems, VCs and institutions got hit. Why? Because we all collectively have started neglecting our core fundamentals of Web3 more frequently than ever before. Hence, especially if you are a project founder for the future, remember that. Always keep in mind financial health as the baseline. Never ever play with it. You are a leader of a community. Don't betray it. Don't play with it. Always keep self-custody of your funds. Ignore that juicy yields on Celsius, BlockFi's, Voyager of the world. Absolutely couldn't agree more. And he continues to also say, ignore those market opportunities which you think you are smart about and you can make some additional money. Do your job as community leader to help push the project forward to the best of your ability. And I cannot agree more. And this is why Polygon has succeeded so much. You know, he's basically talking about this FTX collapse that we have seen. You know, people, you know, the project might be very, very strong, a very, very strong certain projects. But, you know, founders start playing with investors money and, you know, kind of go outside of their uh, path that they're following to make the project really good into other projects to, you know, get a better gain faster. And 98 percent of the time or 99 or honestly, even 100 percent of the time, that ends up being a fail. So you do not want to, you know, get aside from your track. Always stay on your track. Forget about these side things that are happening and focus on your project. And that's where you will be successful mostly. And that's what Sandeep is saying. And that's what he has done. And he has proven. And all props goes to out this guy out over here. You know, I've seen this project since the get-go launch to where it's at now. Absolutely massive gains um, that are made. And not only that it's you know deserving we're very very deserving 
But now let's get into the price and see what's going on with Matic and where is it going in the immediate short term. Despite this massive, massive sell-off that we have seen, Matic is still holding very strong around this range. And you know, if I do bring out the measuring tool for you guys, we're still up since the lows of this year. We're still up 190%. Very, very nice to see. If I bring out the uh, daily time frame for you guys a little bit on the zoom in end, you guys can see Matic has been holding very, very strongly, and you know it gets me extremely excited. Uh, about, you know where this project really is going. I don't know what is going on. What did I do here? You know what? Let's leave this. Let's get back on this side, and let me zoom in the charts for you guys, so you guys get a better perspective as to. There we go. And um, right now we're still holding the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level, but I do need to see the price of Matic start heading back. Uh, above this level of resistance this nine dollar range is a very very important level of resistance as you guys may know we need to be above there uh, but btc right now is not helping btc is looking like it's ready to say goodbye and start heading back towards 15k once again and now you may be saying oh crypto zx we have seen a massive bounce in btc's price what are you talking about doesn't matter look at the price we still need to be above the 78.6 which again is the last level of resort resort and we're not there so i would not be surprised if we go into sunday morning monday morning that we dump once again and obviously that is going to have an impact on matic's price for the short immediate term but long haul matic is going to be a massive player uh you know in the crypto space and i do believe that the next year 2023 it is going to hit top three i'm very confident about that look what they're doing despite all this negativity it's being one of the very few projects that is holding very strongly around these uh, ranges and you know obviously on staking rewards we are seeing polygon matic about 38 percent of the circulation supply being staked so if you are a holder you want to be staking in and earning passive income especially if you're in for the long haul top 10 if we do take top 10 uh, into consideration right now polygon were to reach with the current market valuations right now we would be trading at around six to seven dollars but top three in the next two years would not be the same valuation compared to where it's at right now we are in a bear market so you know 10 15 dollars would not be out of the blue at that point so absolutely insane things are happening with polygon matic it is a revolutionary project it's pushing the crypto industry in the right direction one of the few projects and uh Another project that I believe that is very close to uh, Matic would be VeChain, as I have ever mentioned. Very, um, you know, very, very innovative project when it comes to innovating, expanding, and building exposure for the blockchain space. And I believe that that project is definitely going to have a positive impact as well. But right now, we are looking a little bit of on the bearish end. Obviously, we're being supported by these wicks that we have seen over the past few months, but we do need to be above that dollar mark for us to really get excited but that is it for today's update let me know in the comment section below where you could see the price of matic go at the end of this year and most importantly at the end of 2023 before the massive bull run that i'm anticipating after the bitcoin happening but let me know in the comment section below and do not forget to like comment and subscribe i love you all see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out